Texans Bills week five matchup. We get to see a big game, big game opponent for the Houston Texans. To me, the first one of the season, regardless of what people want to say about the Minnesota Vikings, they did beat the Niners and they did beat the Packers. We got slapped around by the Minnesota Vikings, and we're hoping that we don't get to see a second coming of that this Sunday against Buffalo. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Lead. Your host is always Harley Dugan, the Buffalo Bills are a big game opponent, and it is somebody that the Houston Texans want to replicate uh, their trajectory as an organization. And look, they haven't made it to the Super Bowl, but they've been to the AFC Championship games multiple times. That's why I say it in plural. They just lost to the Kansas City Chiefs, and it's unfortunate. But ultimately, the Bills would be in one of these Super Bowls if they could just beat the Chiefs. Um, one of those years, you could probably argue that they you know, got kind of screwed out of it. But it is what it is. And the Buffalo Bills are in that upper echelon of NFL teams that the Houston Texans want to enter themselves into. Now, as far as we know, the injury report today came out. Joe Mixon did not practice. Damian Pierce did not practice. Not excited to... See no Joe Mixon on Sunday. I'm not sure if he's going to play or not. I really thought he was going to, considering that last week it seemed like it was a game time decision to sit him out. Um, it's uh, I, the implications was that he was going to be ready for this week against Buffalo, and maybe this is just a oh we're just resting him kind of day. But I mean Thursday is usually a good day to implicate who's going to play or not for the game on Sunday. So. Uh, we'll get definitely get an update tomorrow, and we'll see whether or not he plays on Sunday. Tomorrow, to me, could indicate a game-time decision on Sunday. I think, hey, at the end of the day, to me, Joe Mixon is playing on Sunday. If he isn't, that is a huge detriment to this offense because, unfortunately, we've seen him play one game for the Houston Texans. And it was pretty darn good. The offense was at least competent enough compared to the other three games uh, after the Colts game that the offense didn't look so hot. So I'm hoping we get to see some Joe Mixon and he can create some sort of continuity offensively, some rhythm. And you're going to need all, all hands on deck situation when it comes to facing the Buffalo Bills who are coming here to NRG. You are rocking the H-Town Blue, you're going to be seeing a lot of these everywhere, a lot of this logo, and I'm absolutely in love with it. You got Bruce Matthews narrating a video describing what H-Town Blue means to this city, and I'm not going to harp into the details, but man, it got me excited, and I'm really excited to see the Buffalo Bills on Sunday. Look, I understand last time we kind of faced a big opponent the Minnesota Vikings slapped us around. The Houston Texans, they know that they have to play better. I will say, though, we are at home. We should play better at home. And if the Houston Texans have a good bounce back week, especially offensively, then they can beat this Buffalo Bills team. There isn't anything that I'm going crazy about. Now, understand that the Bills are coming off a massive loss, big-time loss against the Baltimore Ravens. They got their asses handed to them. So they're obviously going to be upset going into this game. People want to say they want to take out their frustrations on us. Uh, they're on the road, and the Houston Texans, I just can't see twice in one year you're getting dominated like that. Unless they just play like they have been playing, I expect something different this week in week five. Call it hope, call it whatever. But the Houston Texans in this offense, in my opinion, has a really big bounce back week. And it is led by CJ Stroud and company to do their thing, to change the directions of this offense and put it back towards the conversations you want to be with when it comes to the Buffalo Bills, to the Kansas City Chiefs, and the 49ers, and all of the top teams in the NFL. The Texans are not yet in that conversation. If they want to fast track their way into that conversation, take care of business this Sunday against Buffalo. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty optimistic. I'm pretty hyped about this game. Big game opponent. You cannot get any better than it. 
unless it was on 730 in Sunday Night Football. But we only got a 12 o'clock game. Bills Mafia is going to be there. I will be there tailgating. I won't be at the game, but I will be there tailgating. So if you see me, make sure you say hi. The Houston Texans, I can't predict them to lose. I've seen enough tragedy with the Houston Astros. I don't want to see that ass whooping flood its way into NRG. No, no. The Houston Texans, ladies and gentlemen, get a W this weekend against the Buffalo Bills. They dropped 31 on the Bills, but this is a back and forth game. I'm going to go 31 to 30. Kyle me Fairburn, have yourself another day. The defenses for both teams get stops when they need to get stops. And the Houston Texans and C.J. Stroud drive down the field, and they get that game-winning field goal from Kaimi Fairbairn to seal the victory, and you get a win over a big-game opponent, over a team that has gone head-to-toe with the Kansas City Chiefs. They have been in that ring, and they've boxed with them, and they might have lost every time, but damn it, those were some good bouts. The Buffalo Bills and Josh Allen ain't nothing to skate about. That's a damn good team. And if the Houston Texans win this game, again, get themselves into the conversation of a really damn good football team. Turn this shit around and let's get it going, moving into the right direction, hopefully into that deep playoff run we're expecting and we're hoping at the end of the year. As always, guys, go Astros, go Rockets, go Texans. You have a blessed day.